Hello, people. Good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I had some problems with the internet connection, but now. How are you, teacher? I'm better. I'm a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I still my voice is a little bit strange, right? But I feel better. And it's good to see. <laughs> well, guys, today is our class number. Do you remember? What number is this class? Three, maybe two, I think. Yeah. Four teacher. Number four. Right. Uh -huh. It's number four. I'm going to take the attendance four. away. Okay, so the first person in the list is Alba Yoselin Romero. Is she here? Alba Yoselin Romero Lara. No? Absent. Amalia Beatriz Tobar. Is here. Thank you, Amalia. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino. Present. Thank you. Anderson Emanuel Palomo Portillo. Not present. Okay. Areli Cornejo. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Areli. Um, Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Briseida Yanet Garcia. Briseida Yanet is absent. Briseida Yarisa Mercar. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Manuel Velázquez Hernández. Carlos Manuel Velázquez, no present. Carolina Elizabeth García Anaya. Carolina Elizabeth. Eh, what about Cindy Fabiola Molina? Present. Oh, I didn't mention Salina Yasmin Pérez de Paz. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, Claudia Carolina Cruz Garcia. Present. Daniel Enrique Ayala Soto. Here, teacher. Okay. Daniel Quijano Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to mention Christian Josué Leiva. Present. Thank you, Christian. Edir Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present, teacher. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez García. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez García. No present. Elsa Noelia Portillo. I'm here. Thank you, Elsa. Erika Noemi Hueso Gutierrez. Present. Evelyn, no, sorry, Stephanie Adai García Ángel. Presente. Evelyn Janet Rivera Magaña. Present. Fátima Jocelyn Portillo de Rodas. <coughs> Fátima Jocelyn. Eso. Gabriel Isar Guevara. Gabriel Isar Guevara. Hello, hello, I am here. Ok, Gabriel. Gabriela Sandra López. Present. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Eh, Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil. Jacqueline Beatriz. Not present, Jacqueline. Eh, ja Jenny Lisette. Present. 
En el José Heriberto Durán. José Heriberto. Ok, Fátima. She says that she has problem. Fátima. Jocelyn. Ok, Fátima. Jocelyn por ti. Uh -huh. Present. Carlos Velázquez. Carlos Velázquez is present. <laughs> ok, someone that I didn't mention. Everyone? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your punctuality. Well, guys, so today uh, you will see the class presentation in a moment. Okay, in a second. Okay, so um, can you see the class presentation, guys? Can you see the class presentation? Yes, sure, I see. Okay. Yes, I can see. Thank you. It's Monday, May 29th, 2023. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the lesson objective. Please, somebody can help me. Hi. By the end. Sorry, yes. Gabriel, please go ahead. By the end of this class, you will be able to form simple present questions. Additionally, uh, you will practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you for your reading. Yes. Uh, we, today, we are going to focus on questions and also daily routines. That is the topic in this class. First, we're going to review the three irregular verbs that we learned in the last class. Do you remember that we studied three regular verbs, have, do, and go? And actually, I assigned homework, but only one person sent me the homework. I'm still waiting for it. So according to that, <clears throat> you're going to help me to complete these three sentences. In the first one, we have Mary, her homework after class. Can you tell me what is the correct form of the verb here? Das. Okay. Mary has, right? Mary has, has, are you sure? No. Das. 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 Mary does, right? Does her homework after class. Just let me fix this because it's just too small. Okay, so Mary does her homework, right? Does her homework. Okay, number two. I, I have. 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 I have or I has? Have, I have. I have. I have a black cat. I have a black cat. And number three, the students? Go. 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 Right. The students go to school on weekdays. Very nice. Now, I need someone who can tell me the first sentence, but in the negative form. What me. Mm. work after class, the negative form. It's okay, so. <laughs> Can you repeat, Carlos? Okay, sorry. Uh, the negative forms, this phrase, I think that Mary does her homeworks after class. Ah, but in the verb, you are only using the auxiliary. Does? Doesn't Mary. Yeah. Doesn't do? Doesn't do. Uh, doesn't, do. doesn't is the auxiliary mm. and do is the main the verb. verb. Mary doesn't do 
her homework after class. She doesn't. Okay, doesn't do. Hmm? Doesn't do. Doesn't do, mm -hmm. exactly. Mary doesn't do her homework. <laughs> her homework after class. And what would be the negative for I have a black card? I don't have a black card. Exactly. I don't have a black cat. I have a white cat. Okay. B. And the last one. The students go to school on weekdays. The students don't go to school on weekend. Weekdays. The students don't go. Don't go. Exactly. Don't. Go to school on weekends because on weekends they have to go. So the students don't go to school on weekends. Very nice. So remember, for the negative, as we are going to study later, we have subject, the auxiliary doesn't, or the auxiliary don't, plus the verb. The verb in the base form and the complement. Good. Do you have any questions about these guys? No? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> okay, I understand that there are no questions. Now, guys, let's continue. In the next slide, I have this uh, reading about a day in the life of a professional person. You will see what is Susana's daily routine. And I need two volunteers to read one paragraph each. I think Elsa Noelia wanted to participate. I have, okay, Jeannie, Jeannie Lisa, you will read the first paragraph. Okay. okay. And I don't know if you, Elsa, would you like to read the second paragraph, Elsa? Yes. Okay. So can you start, please, Jimmy? Okay. I am Susana Vasquez, and I am from Peru, Lima. Okay. I am 32 years old, and oh. I am a teacher, and I love my job because it is our son. I get up early to go to work. At work, I do different things. For example, I listen and talk to students also. I prepare class and I check exams. After work, I return home. At home, I like to do different activities. For instance, I sometimes chat with friends from other countries and I read an interesting book also. I exercise in my bedroom on Saturday. My free day I I often go shopping and I have a I have a barbecue also barbecue. and I uh, and I'm <laughs> with my parents. Thank you. Thank you both of you for the reading. So as you notice, she's Susana Vasquez. Where is she from? She's from Peru. She's from Peru, exactly. <coughs> and um, what is her occupation? What does she do? She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Exactly. Why does she like her job? Why does she like her job? Because it is awesome. Because it is awesome, yes. Well, what is her daily routine? She gets up early to go to work. Exactly, she gets up early right maybe 4 a.m or 5 in the morning then at work she does different things she listen and talk to students 
prepares classes, she checks exams, a lot of things. Teachers do a lot of things. <laughs> and then at home, eh, she likes to do different activities. For example, what does she do at home? Chat with friends. Exactly. From the other countries, read interesting books. She so reads. she, she um, exercises. Exercises in the bedroom. Exactly. And on Saturday, she has she goes shopping and she has a barbecue with her parents, right? So a day in the life of a professional person. This is a very short and simple reading, but it's for you to have an idea of how we can describe our daily life or our daily routine. Why? Because today you are going to learn daily routines, okay? So um, here I have another one, it's Rose. I need another volunteer, a different person to read this paragraph. One volunteer to read this paragraph about Rose. I need your help. <laughs> Carlos Garcia. Thank you. Um, say, hi, I'm, I'm Rose. I usually wake up at o'clock and I get up 15 yeah. minutes later after that, that I brush my teeth and I go take the shower. It take, it take me five minutes at 7.30 a.m. I get dresses and I have breakfast at 7.45 a.m. I brush my teeth again. I take my bag and I go to school at 8, uh, 8 a.m. Thank you, Carlos. Yes. Good. So she is Rose and she is more specific with her activities, right? She wakes up at seven. She gets up 15 minutes later. So she wakes up, the cell phone rings, the alarm rings, but she doesn't get up until 15 minutes later. There is a difference between wake up, you wake up, when you open your eyes, but when you get up from your bed, that is get up, okay? So sometimes we wake up, but we don't get up, right? That's the difference. You wake up, you open your eyes, you turn off the alarm, and you continue sleeping. And later you get up, right? So here we are gonna rewrite the actions in the images, but in the third person. Remember the S at the final of the verbs. Look at the example. This is Rose. And you can see her in the picture. It says she usually wakes up at seven and she gets up 15 minutes later. Look, the verb has the S. Okay, second, what, it, what goes here? What is her next activity? She brushes her teeth. Okay, yes, you can do it in your notebook, guys, to practice, okay? Okay, so she, oh, I'm gonna change so big. She? It's still is big. <laughs> she brushes, right? Yep, yep. Brush is the verb, but is there a person? I add yes. Brushes. She brushes 
hair, no mais, porque mais is me, right? Her, de ella. Her. 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 Uh -huh. mm. Very good. Mm. Then, what is she doing here? Shower. She takes a shower. <coughs> takes. She takes a shower. That's right. Mm. And it takes her five minutes. Wow, that is a quick shower because when I take a shower, it takes me 10 minutes. And you? Oh, if I wash my hair, it's like 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, and then? Then she said she she get she gets dressed she gets dressed at seven thirty at seven thirty p.m. seven thirty p.m. seven thirty a.m. <laughs> she gets dressed and then. She brushes her teeth again. She, mm -hmm. she look what is she doing here? Uh, she has she breakfast. Has breakfast. Ah yes, she's eating cereal. She has breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. She has breakfast. And yes, she brushes her teeth again. But before she Eat breakfast. Yeah. Finally, she takes a bag. It takes her bag and and she goes to a school and goes to school. and goes to school. Very nice. We are using the third person singular correctly. And this is. Roses daily, <coughs> daily routine. Yes, that is roses daily routine. What is your daily routine? What is your daily routine? I am cooking. Amalia. I am cooking in the morning. Ah, ah okay, so you say, I wake up. I, Remember, first you wake up. What time do you wake up? What time do you wake up? Wake up. Five, five in the morning. Okay, so you say, I wake up at five. I wake up at five. Mm -hmm. Five in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then. Or five a.m. Yes. Continue. Ah. Continue, Amalia. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eh, eh, media hora. Quiero ver. Y ahí. Then. Eh, and. Then. Uh -huh, then. Then. Uh -huh. Puedo usar estas palabras, mire, then, okay. next, after that, <coughs> mm -hmm. okay, then, if she brushes, I, I, I see, I, I see brusher, I see, I brush, if, my I brush, her teeth. My teeth. Uh, my, okay, okay. My teeth. Is, uh, my. Uh, the cooking is uh, arreglo la, the lunch. Oh, I prepare lunch. Or I cook lunch. Lunch. Cook lunch. Mm. 
Eh, the, the, I take oh, shower. I take a shower. I take a shower. Eh, I, after breaks, breakfast, mm -hmm. eh, eight, eight p.m. You have breakfast at 8 a.m. Yes, I. At 8 a.m., yes, in the morning. In the morning, yes. Uh, her back goes to the supermarket. No, I back a supermarket. No, supermarket, okay. Yes, supermarket. Uh, Clean the house. You clean the house. Yes, that's important. You clean the house. Uh, the, the work. I go to work. I go to work. Exercise at gym. Oh, you exercise at the gym. Great for you. Yes. Uh, the, the night uh, ch uh, the back at uh, church. You go to church at night. 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. No, 6 p.m. <laughs> a, a, B, S, I <laughs> PM in the evening. Yes, it's okay. You're doing PM. good. 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. Okay. Yes. Then you have uh, English class at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. I have English eight. class at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Uh, the class? The English class. Take us English. English class. You speak English in the English class. <laughs> <laughs> and class yes. Please for Amalia. She did a good job of classes. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Amalia. Okay. So guys, homework for you is to write your daily routine, okay? For okay. tomorrow, write your daily routine, okay? That's going to be homework. Now let's go over the next. This is just, guys, a review. This is just a review, okay? And we have here the simple present, remember subject, verb, complement. For negative subject, we use the auxiliary don't or doesn't and the verb and the complement, obviously. So I need one volunteer to read all these, please. One volunteer to read the sentences. I need help because I, I still have problems with my throat, okay? Christian Josue. I have a black cat. You have a big house. He has a nice car. She has long hair. It has four legs. We have a beautiful garden. You have a demanding boss. They have new computers. Thank you, Christian. Yes, it's correct. So you can see here the different subjects, right? But it's different only with he, she, and it. The third person is, has. He has a nice car, she has long hair, and it has four legs. For example, the table. The table has four legs. Good. Now in the negative form, it's subject plus don't or doesn't and the verb have. Okay, I need another volunteer to read the negative. Ah, teacher. <laughs> Daniel, please. See, I don't have a black cat. You don't have a beer house. He doesn't have a nice car. She doesn't have long hair. It doesn't have four legs. 
we don't have a beautiful garden. You don't have a demanding boss. They don't have new computer. Computer. Yes. What is the only difference? Um, in la tercera persona, she doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. It doesn't. Exactly, but the verb is the same. Have, 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 have. Okay. The only difference is the auxiliary in negative form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions, guys? Is it clear? Like the horchata or like the water? Like the water. Like, like the water. Ah, that's great. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> now we have I here. Said, Excuse me? Este, yo solo una consulta. Este, en este verbo have es similar entonces con el verbo con el, el do o el do y el that el hacer que se le agrega este en el negativo primero se le agrega el don o el das y luego este el do no solo no. No, no se le agrega el do o sea en afirmativo in affirmative, it's just the subject, the verb, and the complement. Subject, verb, complement. I have a black cat, you have a big house, he has a nice car. Okay, in negative, you put the auxiliary. I don't have a black cat. You don't have a big house. He doesn't have a nice car. Subject. The auxiliary and the verb. Can we make some examples here with have? Can you help me to write examples? Dictate me some examples. And listen to you. Carlos? Thank you, Miss. Um, a question. And, and the, the use of the verb have in, in, the, in the phrases, in the sentence. For example, um, I have a new car, for example. It's correct? It's correct. I have a new car. Okay. Um, Negative. I don't have a new car. Okay. An old car. An old car, yes. Okay. I don't have an old car. Another example. Edith, can you make one example? Edith? Um, but, uh, she has a computer. She has a computer. Negative. She doesn't have, have a computer. Or we can say she doesn't have a tablet. Okay, to make it different. She has a computer, she doesn't have a tablet. Okay, another example. Alba, Jocelyn. I have my long hair. I have long hair. Oh, good for you. I don't have long hair. Or the opposite. Oh. Or here, right? I don't have short hair. Long hair. I don't have short hair, okay? 
One more example. We need to write five sentences. Puede ser otra que diga, I have a new t-shirt. Yes. Y, y el negativo quedaría como, I don't have a new t-shirt. Or we can change, right? I have a new t-shirt, I don't have new jeans. <laughs> ah. I have a new t-shirt, but I don't have new jeans. And the last, the last example. Hello, Heriberto, welcome to the class. Hello, excuse me. <laughs> No me había podido conectar. Don't worry, but you are here now. That's great. Okay, and the last example. <coughs> we have a videojuego. We have? A videojuego. I don't understand. I don't know. Videojuego. PlayStation. I think it's, I think they are my speakers that I don't hear clearly. PlayStation. We have a? PlayStation. Oh, PlayStation. <laughs> we have a PlayStation. We don't have. A Nintendo. Uh. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So the examples we have. Mm -hmm. So don't and doesn't are auxiliaries for the negative. Great. Now let's go over the next. In the next slide. We have the verb go, okay? Is the same as structure, subject, verb, and complement. Negative, subject, don't, or doesn't, and the verb go. Um, una, una pregunta. Daniel? Mm -hmm. Una pregunta. ¿Es correcto, por ejemplo, si tenemos una nueva familia y decir, we have a new family? ¿Es correcto eso o solo aplica para cosas? No, it's correct. It's correct. Correct, yes. I have two brothers and one sister. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I That, have a yes. big family because I have like 35 cousins. Okay. Good. Good. Good for your question, Daniel. Okay. Brenda Elizabeth, can you please read? The sentences will go, please help me. I I go to the gym twice a week. You go to the park every day. He goes to the beach once a year. She goes to visit her mother on weekends. I go to the bus station. We go to the supermaker on Saturdays. You go to church on Sundays. The, they go to parties on Friday nights. Thank you, Brenda, Elizabeth, okay, yes. So as you notice, the, the subject, the verb, and the complement. And only the difference is with he, she, and it or he, she, and it, I will add yes to the verb go. He goes, he goes oh. to the beach once a year. Once a year, only once a year. She goes to visit her mother on weekends. It goes to the bus station. This bus goes directly to the bus station. Okay, Gabriel? One question, uh, the, 
the last uh, they go to Paris on Friday night in the Paris 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 this I I see the party it's the same Paris and party yeah this is the plural form The plural of party. Party? One party? In Paris, they got to parties on Friday nights. Right? Okay. It's the plural. The plural of party. Party and parties. Mm -hmm. Fiestas. Okay. Okay. Fiesta, party, fiestas, parties. Guys, if you notice in these sentences, I put here some. Look, these words. Twice a week, every day, once a year, on weekends, on Saturdays, on Sundays, on Friday nights. These expressions are expressions of frequency. Twice a week means two times in the week. But we are going to study these expressions later, okay? La vamos a estudiar un poquito después, these expressions. But this is just for you to know, right? Expressions of frequency. Okay, now the negative. Let's see the negative. Selena, would you like to read Selena the negative part? Okay. I don't go to the gym twice a week. You don't go to the park every day. <clears throat> he doesn't go to the beach on, on a year. She doesn't go to visit her mother on weekends. He doesn't go to the bus station. We don't go to the supermarket on Saturday. Saturday. We don't go to this. You don't go to church on Sunday. You don't. They don't go to part parties on Friday night. Thank you, Selena. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. So, if you notice, we use don't. The auxiliary don't and the auxiliary doesn't. I don't go, para decir no voy. I don't go. You don't go to the park every day. He doesn't go. Él no va a la playa una vez al año. He doesn't go to the beach, right? She doesn't go to visit her mother on weekends. He doesn't go. So in the third person singular, this is special and we use the auxiliary doesn't but the verb is the same, in the same form, base form, okay? Now let's write examples with go. You're going to help me again. To write examples with go. But he say that, can you give me one? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, my mother goes to the supermarket on Saturday. Okay, excellent. Any negative? Mm, my mother doesn't go to the supermarket on weekdays. Okay. Good. My mother goes to the supermarket on Saturdays. She doesn't go on weekdays. Another example. Participate, guys. This is your class. Carlos, you are raising your hand. Thank you. Um, for example, I go to I go to work five days in the week. 
five days a week. Uh -huh. um, the negative form, I think, is I don't go to work five days a week. Oh, I don't go to work seven days. Okay, seven days. Uh -huh, because you go five days. You don't go to work yeah. seven days a week. Alba? I go to the university every day. Negative. I don't go to the to the movies. I don't go to the movies every day, right? You don't go to the cinema every day because you study. <laughs> Brenda, Dimas. I go to the school every morning. Okay. Yes. Next. I don't go to the church. I, I don't go to the church in the morning. Okay. And in the third person singular? You make an example with the third person singular? Oh, Erika, Erika rose here. He goes to English classes. Mm. Remember, this is about the present, not the past, not the future, the present. He goes to English class every day, right? He, he doesn't go. He goes to English class every day. He doesn't go to math classes. And we have here the different examples with go. Now guys, you can make you can make questions, you can make sentences in the simple present with have and go. And now you are gonna make examples, but we do. Uh, let's see, maybe. Um, Eriberto, would you like to read, please? Yes, can you read the sentences? Okay. And I, or you, or he, or she. All of them, read. Okay. I do my homework every day. Okay. My father uh, to the my father goes to the super uh, the park uh, every day. Oh, okay, Heriberto. Thank you. But I I I'm asking you to read read this sentence. Um. Okay. Please. Um. I do my homework every day. Yes. Continue. And you do exercise every morning. He does the dishes at home. Um, she does the cooking for the family. It does nothing special. Uh, we do the cleaning after class. You do your best in the class. They do the laundry. And weekends. Oh, weekends. Thank you, Roberto. So we have, right, as I told you, the, the other class uh, activities we do, right? Like do my homework, you do exercise. He does the dishes. It's like he washes the dishes. She does the cooking. It's like she, she uh, cooks, right, for the family. It does nothing special, no hace nada especial. It does nothing special. We do the cleaning. Okay. You do your best in the class every, every day at 8 p.m. And they do the laundry, laundry. 
long time. Oh, we can see it. There's a mistake here. So, as you notice in the, the verb, what is the verb here? Do. Do. In the third person Do. singular? We add, does. yes, does, does. She does, she does, it does. Now negative, I use the auxiliary and I use okay. the verb. Okay. Uh, who can read the negative form? You don't do actually. Breaking, who reads the negative? Daniela Yala, you've been very quiet this evening, Daniela Yala. Daniel, are you there? Daniel Ayala? Okay, uh, Claudia Cruz, can you help us reading, please? Oh. I don't. I don't do. I don't do cooking every day. Continue. Uh, I know. I don't do your home homework every day. You don't do exercise every morning. He doesn't do the dishes at home. She doesn't do the cooking for the family. It does, doesn't do the nodding expression. We don't do the cleaning after class. You don't do your bed in class. They don't do the laundry or Thank you, Claudia. Yes. So for um, with the verb do the same, right? We use the auxiliary don't or doesn't, and the verb is the verb do, right? I said I don't do my homework every day. No hago mi tarea todos los días. I don't do my homework every day. You don't do exercise every morning. He doesn't do the dishes at home. Él no lava los trastes en casa. She doesn't do the cooking for the family. No cocina para la familia. <laughs> right? In negative. Doesn't do. Doesn't do or don't do. Now let's write some examples with do. You will help me. Me teacher, I do the dishes every night. I do the dishes. Negative. I don't do the dishes in the morning, maybe. Excellent, you need another example. Gabriel Guevara, do I do uh, my my uh, breakfast. Oh, that is uh, make. Oh. I make my breakfast. Oh, make is make. Oh, okay. But here we are using the uh, do. Do my homework. Uh, I do my homework in the morning. Negative. I don't do my homework in the morning. I will write here in the afternoon. Sorry. Carlos? Thank you, Miss. I, for example, she does, 
she does enjoy dinner? She does enjoy this or that? No. Uh, that enjoy. would be she enjoys. Enjoys dinner. Uh -huh, but we're, the verb here is to. Maybe she does the laundry, she does the cleaning, she does the ironing. She does. She does eating dinner. No. That would be she eats dinner. Sí. O sea, el verbo es que hace ella. Ella hace, dice aquí. She does. Ah, she does. Yo hago los trastes o yo lavo los trastes. Yo hago mi tarea. ¿Y qué hace ella? She does. Be sure. Be sure. The. Uh -huh. She does. Be sure. The dishes. Dish, dishes. De lavar. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. She does the dishes. But we have one example with the dishes. So I will write the laundry. She does the laundry. Laundry. Mm -hmm. She does the laundry on Mondays. Is that okay? Okay. Negative? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't the laundry. Hace falta el verb. You're missing the verb. What is the mer the main she verb? She doesn't do. 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 She doesn't do the laundry. The laundry. On Tuesdays, for example. Okay. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your examples. I know it can be confusing at, at the beginning, but but you know how it works. Okay, people, we only have some minutes before we finish the class. So <laughs> we didn't have time to do the questions, to go over the questions. But sure, tomorrow we are going to study. We are going to practice this conversation. And we are going to learn yes, no questions. Okay, in the simple present. Yes, no questions, we use the auxiliaries. Do or does. Right? Remember, in the simple present, we use the auxiliary do or does. Okay, they are auxiliaries. Esos auxiliares no significan, no, no tienen una traducción. Solo están allí para ayudarnos a hacer las preguntas o ayudarnos a hacer el negativo. Okay? So the auxiliary verbs are just to auxiliar. <laughs> They are auxiliaries, right? They help us to make questions and to make the negative form. So tomorrow, you're going to study the just yes, no questions. For example, Liz, do you like ice cream? Does Max like ice cream? Mm, delicious ice cream, right? Chocolate ice cream. So that's going to be tomorrow in the class. Now, guys, can you tell me what did you learn today? What did you learn today in this class? You learned something in this class? To make a sentence a statement. Three to make sentences and do and does. Exactly. Have, do, and the other verbs. No. Go. Go. Oh. Oh. The very go. Yes. Well, guys, I hope that you have a great evening and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye.